How you doing everyone? This is Corin. Welcome to a new game called Kona. It's sort of like a mystery detective game from what I've learned. And let's just jump straight into it, shall we? It seemed interesting. I thought we'd give it a shot. See what we can do. See what it's like. Northern Quebec, October 1970. Charles sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. Oh, the old William PI, Hamilton, huh? A rich industrialist had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Oh, Carl. We get to drive? Yeah! Oh, come on then. Stairs a bit off. to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. A nice car. The Chevrolet. Where are we meeting again? When the roads were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. Ah. So, ooh. inspect. How often does a road need to be closed to require two picnic tables at its cafe? Oh, at its gate, not cafe. Oh, that car's loud. One empty bottle. Useful. Okay. Let's have a little explore, shall we? Yeah, we can go up here. What's up here? A flag that we can inspect. Emperor Duplessis, in spite of his conservative agenda, did a good job in colonizing the rural north, which helped to re-establish the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. Oh. The blue fleur de lise could be seen fluttering in the wind here and there, taunting the red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's boundaries. Fire starters, pincers. Oh, I can't take that entire toolkit. I want it. Okay. Back down then. That's very good. We've got some stuff already. How about that? Okay, pincer, fire starter, empty bottle, cigarettes, matches. Well, I'm not going to do any of that, I'm going to hold it. God, this car is so loud. Hello? It will be good. Manistan. Uh. Yeah, okay, I'm not, I'm not reading that. Yeah. Okay. Alright. A flyer about the place. But that's it. Not that way. So can we just, uh. Ah. Still not a soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. There was time for him to get down to business. Well, that's not the best Hamilton way. Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Yeah, we, we waited a long time. enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. Don't need that, thank you. 
The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. Ah, uh, and those Englishmen hated him. So is the bad guy. On about scheming against him. I understand why. He recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the Oh, oh no. Well, well, it was a nice little car while it lasted. A few hours later. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. What? There was another car, which also I'm assuming skidded off. And we've been here for hours, so much so that it's snowed. Kona! Was there anything in the back to actually withdraw? A fire starter. Nice. I'm gonna take that. Oh. Yeah, there was another car, but the driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. Oh right, I see. So it kind of like took the bridge down. We did crash into the bridge, though. I think. What we got? It was a small locked box engraved with the letters WH. Can we? Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left to chance. Not crouch. Can't seem to. Isabel photo. Such heart wrenching Nordic poetry that was. But oh, Carl right. didn't care much about flowery language. Yeah. Isabel, you gave me into everything. When you disappeared, so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. Uh, okay then. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin-stinging cold. Well, for as long as, as long as he can. Uh, all our windows are bashed in. But the car's still on, so just... When under stress, car is less accurate and runs shorter distances. Are we stressed then? Oh, okay. I didn't even read that. South somewhere. Oh, cabin. Perfect. Take a log. Heat sources prevent car from freezing to death. Okay, good. Does that count as a heat source? Fire starter matches. Even better than he had hoped. Carl Faubert had succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventures. Start a fire, shall we? Nice. Okay. Well, it seems to be like a bit of a survival thing at the same time. Wasn't expecting that, but I don't hate it. In fact, I enjoy a good survival game. But that looks useful. Rations. Let me take some of them. Let's go back out into the cold, see what we can find. Uh, nope. Why would I want to start a fire out there? Can we get another log? We can. Oh, maybe it's a good idea. I mean, why not? We'll see what's up here, shall we? Found a lot of nice goodies last time we went up a tower, so... I can only expect there'll be more. No. 
Not a thing. Right, so we got a chain, which is something. Uh, and this just seems to be a load of nothing. Oh, we live in footprints. Oh, we are. Oh, I love that. Love snow graphics. Yeah. Was there anything in the boat? No. Oh. That looks like there's something under there. Can I use the shovel? No. Oh. Oh, okay. Equipment, consumable, inventory, documents, options, map, journal. Can we look at the map? Uh, oh, okay, we're right down there. Alright. So, do you reckon we can get our car out with the chain? I reckon so. Lay chain. Yes. Okay then, right. Car's about to He needs to heal his wounds and warm up his body before going any further. I forgot about the wounds. Okay. Ooh. 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 I, mean, I don't know what we've got to heal our own wounds. I don't remember seeing the fact that we've got health care or anything, so maybe there's something in the boot of this car. <laughs> oh yeah. Big brain. Got a big brain. I mean, I definitely should have thought of it beforehand, but still. Big brain to think of it now. Always check the boot. Come on, get me back here. Let's grab another log. Never know when we're going to need it. Close the door. Right. So. Consumable. Use the first aid kit. There we go. Carl, ever diligent in his Ooh. work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. Case vandalism, the crash, a cold mystery. Okay. Got a torch. Got a map. Okay, that's how we bring it out. And the Polaroid, Ooh. Carl's long-standing and faithful ally, has seen a share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. Okay, then. Right, so now we're good. Can we now drive the car? Oh, well, footprints and stuff are still here. Which is cool. There we go. And the car's fine. I do wonder where all this snow's come from. Careful, careful, don't go too far back. Honestly. Not very visible, it's not great to be driving in the snow. Carl. Might have another crash. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Manus spread out on a few acres of Manistan region. Forest. Bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. Rivers. It's a house. Oh. Where are we now? There is a house. Okay. We're just going to go on. Go and meet. Oh, I've forgotten his name already. William? Is it? Is it William? Go and meet the client. Jean Luc Bedard had without a doubt been the closest man in the village to William Hamilton, otherwise known as Uncle Willie. 
truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. Well, good thing I didn't go down to that house then, wouldn't it? I'm about to walk it. Oh, just turn the engine off, dude. I got petrol. Okay. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. <laughs> In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. The divine nectar. Something fell to the bottom of the box. Okay. Oh. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Oh, good old Polaroid. Well, well, well. The mystery deepens. Carl felt a chill down his spine oh. and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? Oh no, yeah. Oh, we might as well go home. Place is a mess. Yes, it is. Well, my question would be, where's the owner then? Envelope. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Oh. Oh, it's not been opened. I see. I was trying to expect the contents of it, but we can't because there's nothing in it. Someone took it. Well, let's go behind. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Jeez. Got any money? What does that say? Sale. Two, two, three. Sale. <laughs> What's this? Post key. Nice. Shut it, make it look like nothing happened. What's that? Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. I need you to just stop talking so much, mate. Ah, we can turn on the pump from here. Okay. Oh. Ah. Move it for a first aid kit. Lovely. Let's turn the pump on while we're here. Does that work? I assume it works. Or maybe it didn't because the power's out. Oh, what's that? Garage key. Customer credit. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Okay. Oh, this would help, wouldn't it? Yeah, this would help a lot. Climb up. Yeah, I'll climb up. Oh, actually, I have to climb up. I was expecting an animation. What's that? Sherry wine. Whoa. That was worth it, wasn't it? Yes, it is recommended to use a flashlight in the dark. Okay, then. Oh yeah, there was a bang. We shall go and suss out the bang. Foul play. Amateur hunters showing some pride in having killed a nice pelted beast. With men like this roaming the area, wolves would become extinct within ten years, Carl thought. Okay, so this place is also a post office. Oh, I've read the flyer again. Don't want that. What's this? Cash register instructions. 
<laughs> I was way ahead of you. Figured it out. Do you know why? Big brain. Uh. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. So uh, someone. Can I inspect it properly? The note explained no. that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Right. Right. Whoa! Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? Okay, so the generator broke. Or was sabotaged. There we go. The garage key. Close that. Don't want anyone sneaking up on us and murdering us. Okay, lots of stuff to open. Let's just check the area. Make sure we're on our own. Nothing in there. Hardware. Nice. Pliers. Nice. Nope. 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 Uh, okay then. Looks like that was it for me. So we can fix the generator now, yes? Carl was no electrician. But he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Perfect. What's this? Carl was used to strange phenomena. But a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. What's that? What's that little orange thing? Prince? Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the camera faulty, or was it a possible lead? Okay. Yeah, so I'm just following these prints, right? Oh, no. Different prints. Eastern. How do you say that? And at Atomipec. That is pro probably butchered that. Okay. Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets, and he didn't like to miss out. Yeah, I'm. I'm going way off course here, aren't I? I want to know. I see a clue, I follow a clue. What on earth is that? Oh. Oh, hello. Get closer. Whoa. No wolf could have done that. What bent a gun? Carl like that? wondered no. how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Carl wondered what the hell could that thing be? It looked like a man fossilized in ice. It is. Right, okay. Well, I'm guessing that was my clue. Seems to go on, but I feel like we're getting really cold. But we found something. Something interesting. If we get in here, do we warm up? Oh, oh yep. 
Make sure you turn it to the generator. Boom. There we go. Oh, a broken clock. How convenient. Okay. There we go. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. I see. Well. Oh, sorry you died, mate. I mean, maybe you deserved it. Who knows? Oh, yeah, we got a key for this as well, don't we? Oh. The murder weapon. What was that doing there, Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Ah, oh, okay. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Yeah, okay. Clever, but not Letter from Hamilton. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. It is a citizen of Her Majesty in the free economic chambers of the world. I must address what follows to the proper authorities. The worst is happening at this very moment. I cannot write at length, but I am requesting immediate help from my country. I believe the free world is in grave danger. A member of my community, the Honourable... Okay. That's it. That's a quick fill. So, uh, let's get in, shall we? What now? <laughs> I don't know. Right, let's get out. So, let's get back out. Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. Oh. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Okay. Right, let's just get inside again because it's a bit warmer in here and we can have a little little get together and figure out what it is we're doing. Right, let's do this one again. Where did he say he was going? But right, he doesn't say where he's going. Uh, and it doesn't say where to go next. All right. Well, you know what? Let's just let's just go. We will find our own way. Okay, don't crash the car. Alright, well, we're not on the main road anymore. Oh, this, this was a silly idea. This bridge does not look good. Go, go, go. The hospital that way? And the house? Oh, do you know what? Let's just... This might be the doctors. This guy said that he was going to be there, so... Can we, like, turn the car off? No. Save some petrol, maybe? because it's cold. Ah! Told you it was the doctors. Well, see, this is uh, Canada, isn't it? It's in Montreal. Unfortunately, I don't... Uh... Nice. 
I don't know any French. And they, sp they speak French, I believe. No, no, we've already found the key. Don't you worry about that. Oh, what's this? Uh? There should Medical be a law forbidding doctors from falling sick. Medical emergency in town. The doctor there is sick. I'll be back soon. If he dies, I won't be returning. I'll have to replace him. Okay, then. There we go. Right. I've just turned the, uh, the narration settings to only the important things. Because it's confusing. Well, it's not confusing, it's annoying. I don't want him to keep talking every time I'm trying to talk. There's like a light switch in here or something. Guess not. Is this the clinic? Looks like someone's actual like Oh jeez. Right, okay. We've got a lot in here, don't we? A lot going on. Isabel. Ah, Isabel. Carl got the trembles as he imagined the excruciating pain that kind of scalpel could no doubt inflict. Oh jeez, yeah, I didn't even see that. Look at the size Within of that scalpel. Miserable walls. Patients probably felt more like in a slaughterhouse than in a doctor's office. A store in a cool, dry place with a constant temperature, they said. Oh, you know, so you just pop it outside and get a nice chilled wine. Ah, nice. I mean, what do they use for a light in here? Ah. Well, that helps, doesn't it? Is that a bidet? A chamber pot. Or a chamber pot. Fortunately for Carl, inspecting it wouldn't further this particular investigation. How was that important? You didn't need to comment that. What's this? Communist manifesto. Okay. Right, got some medical files here. Unknown woman. Ooh. I never did quite catch her name. The men call her Laurie. She had a neck wound. There was so much blood. The bullet had done a lot of damage. Probably hitting the cerebellum. It was hopeless. She had a cardiac arrest. The man had found her like this. As they said. I doubt it. But in a small town like this... It's usually the best to turn a blind eye. I've been told to step back from sending out the death certificate. This whole thing sickens me. Rosary Armand. No medical explanation whatsoever can explain why old Rosary is still alive. As we in the trade say, the only way to cure him is to kill him. Okay. Sylvie Bedard. I'm going to absolutely demolish these names, by the way. If you haven't figured it out already. All of her symptoms point to the same root cause. She's pregnant. She refuses it. She denies it. I'm willing to bet her husband is not the father. Ooh. Let's just hope it's not Everett Lockhart, though. Or she would have an illegitimate child and a syphilis on her hands. Okay. William Joseph there was Hamilton. No doubt that the doctor and Hamilton knew each other very well. Haughty. Can't be cured. Chronic foot pain. Can't walk long distances. Rich. I'll cure him of that one day. What, by killing him? The good doctor, flanked by his beautiful spouse. Pure happiness, captured on cardstock. Okay. Carl recognized this woman's soulful eyes. Was it Dr. Beaupre who had hit him head on at the village border? Nobody kills a rich patient to start a revolution. It didn't make any sense. He had to dig deeper still to understand. Luckily, that was Carl Fulbert's specialty. And go and steal all their stuff. Someone had lost a few liters of blood here. Carl's first thought had been a lumber accident. Someone's hand cut by a saw or a hunting accident. In any case, whoever had lost all this blood couldn't have gone far. Perhaps they were already dead. Well, well, well. Unlocking a door isn't enough. 
What are you talking about? You're telling me I can't get in there? Is that what you're saying? Well, okay then. Well, I mean, I guess I've looked everywhere then. Have a little wander out here, shall we? I suppose, again with the paw prints. Nothing there. Ah, nice. Oh, so where was that door then? Oh. Please use the other door. Fair enough. Didn't miss much in there then. Ah, okay then. Right. Keep going this way. Ah, there we go. See what else we can find. Ooh. Look, another one of these. Over here, huh? Well, it's not where it's leading, but it's where I'm going. Oh! Well, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I was about to get eaten alive. Ah. Okay, it is going in here. Oh, wouldn't last long in these clothes. Right, okay. Not in here then. Get back to the car. For we are freezing. Get in. Okay, right. Still cold. Wait, where are we on the map? Okay, alright, it's on there now. It's on there. We've got a cave on there now. Oh, the truck as well. House of the Patriot. Oh, another thing of... Oh, yeah, get us in. Another, um... What was it called? Ice thing out there. Dude, how do you stay warm? There he is. There we go, get some warmth back. Right, this is the House of the Patriot, apparently. What's the, like, broken things? Like, what are these? I've seen them everywhere. What's this? Quebec liberation will happen by force or not at all. We will prevail. Okay then. Okay then. Rock music invaded the minds of ah. men even in the remotest of places. Nice. The man didn't own a turntable though, so there's that going for him. Good album. Oh, what it? It is Jean Bluin. Seems like that pig had a name after all. Jeez. <laughs> Ooh. A gun rack. But it's empty. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all-surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. Although apparently, we can do exactly that. Well, they Carl figured this recipe wasn't meant to yield a refined nectar. Sherry wine. Too, right, white whiskey, too much isn't a valid quantity. Quantifier for that. 
and then sherry wine added for mellowness. Well, I've got a sherry wine. Gin fizz, Long Island iced tea. Well, that's not what you were making, though, is it, friend? Doesn't seem to be much else in here. But we got warm, so. This random sap over it. Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> It's gone now. So uh, I know we've got actually we've got cigarettes. Carl, like many of his contemporaries, felt like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. Cigarette was his own personal. Okay, I don't really know what that cigarette did for us, but it did something. Turn around. Right, off we go. Down the road. To the house at the end. I swear when we were here, like at the very beginning, it was like spring. It wasn't like completely covered in snow. Or is that just Canada? Does that just happen? Maybe if anyone watches and they're from Canada, they can tell me. Does it just snow? It's like nice and sunny one minute and then the next hour there's like really snow that just covers the entire place. Bevenue. Okay. Another one of those crystal things. Sometimes, and especially around here, people are so possessive with their land as a dog is with hydrants. Cool. Dear Mr. Lamouth, here is the spark plug you ordered for your Olympic ski do. Skidoo. This model, being very popular, has made it difficult to find a brand new part as quickly as usual. Thank you for choosing the garage. Oh, that's it. Done. Was going to give us something useful. Well, 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 I guess we've got a spark plug. I guess that's useful. Let's break this lock, shall we? Keep finding these. Oh, there's wolves around here, but they are everywhere. I was hoping we could take the car in here, but I guess not. What good was a motorless car? The mechanic sure had an odd way to go about repairing things. Well, spare parts, mate. Well, this truck's not going anywhere. Where were the amputated parts? Carl grinned as he pictured a Frankenstein-esque car lying around somewhere made of parts from a dozen different vehicles. Another worrisome victim of this ice. Oh. This one seemingly petrified in action. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to have been defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? Okay, right. Whoa! Hamilton, I won't be your dog anymore. The milk was sorted by color, from the whitest to the greenest, or in other words, from the freshest to that the That phone's best. obviously not going to work, is it? Snowmobile ski. Ooh, we can get a snowmobile. Okay, good. Get us in it. I still haven't seen a single person yet other than the dead one. Dead William. Got a uh, got a heater or something? 
Aha, see it. Get me warm. Awesome. Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? Follow up on a complaint. Dear Mr. Lamouth. Following up on your complaint, I'm afraid that the police cannot support your claim alleging the sudden appearance of a man who came from outer space on your village's territory. Manifestly, what happened at Roswell in New Mexico left a deep impression on you and we would urge you to consult with a physician as soon as possible regarding future potential complaints. Let it be known that the judicial, judicial district of Abitibi does not believe in little green men. Regards, Pierre Valjean. Oh. The man has a passion for intergalactic things. Back then, people were obviously scared of the Russian atomic bomb, but an invasion by extraterrestrials was a legit fear as well. Seems like the mechanic had made his choice. Extraterrestrials, huh? Oh, no, it's got some more polar. Wait, do I have an, an infinite... I thought I might have an infinite amount of Polaroids. I might not. Oh, I've only got two left. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. I need to stop taking them so uh, willy-nilly then, don't I? Parts manual. My guess is that we're going to be building a ski. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? To protect from the aliens. That's what that's for. If some Blue daring person could spaceship. manage to get their hands on the missing parts, Carl was willing to bet that the craft would have taken flight. I think I saw that in the uh These scribblings the were garage. undoubtedly the mark of a tormented mind. Something wasn't right in the poor mechanic's head. Got a hammer. Nice. Smash that ball. Right, okay, so... Now we're a bit warm. Let's go back outside. To that garage. I remember seeing this. A headlight. So it's clearly been collecting parts. Orange juice. There it is. Homemade flying saucer. Life never ceases to amaze me. Oh, so he was making one. The week of October 5th, thought Carl. That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. Yeah, I got it. I got the plug. Oh, okay. So we can actually repair it. Nope, nothing for me there. What about here? Nope, that not look like it. Okay, well... Since we've got a bunch of stuff, can we repair this spaceship? Whoa. Stand back. <laughs> it was an indisputable fact that machines like this entailed a level oh. of intellectual finesse that Carl was lacking. Okay then. Well, that wasn't much use, was it? Cool. Oh, I can't move. What? What's going on?
Oh. Is that one of these? Whoa. I heard a lot of things breaking. Is that why I keep finding like smash bulbs everywhere? Something very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it. But Carl didn't know how to reach it. Uh, no, no he did not. That was mad, I didn't expect that to happen. Let's see what I can do. Because he definitely launched it over there, didn't he? Like, sort of up and into that that bucket sheets of metal everywhere was Carl out of touch with current home improvement trends or perhaps this was meant to protect against residual radiation gamma rays okay right there I'll go be much use so what's this snowmobile track oh right, so we can definitely make a snowmobile then like that obviously Right now, I want to find me something that's going to help me. Handlebars. I've got no idea. Let's go and have a look at this, shall we? By following the plan, Carl was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity. Ski. I'll go up here. Oh, I can. Oh, interesting. Carl had no idea how to interpret a message like that. I saw On something the surface, in the woods. It seemed oh, like he stop. had one half too many of this puzzle. Enough to know he shouldn't take this testimony as gospel. The entire thing, being some punishment for a murder committed by Hamilton, seemed like an outlandish theory. Carl was doubtful. I saw something in the woods. On the solemn day of October 6th, 1970, no man should ever see. The aliens are here. They're roaming in our woods. They will invade us all from down to sunny Mexico. They are massive, twice as tall as men. They are half man, half caribou, half wolf. I'm sure the fact that I saw them means they broke their military code. They are after me. If you're reading this, it is too late. I've already been taken to the planet. E Elohim. To be experimented upon in a lab. They are punishing me for not doing anything when I witnessed the mad murder yesterday. When I saw William Hamilton kill someone. Farewell. Okay, so he also killed someone. William killed someone and he too was killed. He talks about there being like half man, half bear. Or half man, half wolf. Which is interesting. Given all the wolf tracks that we've been finding. Yes. Let's go and get it warm, shall we? And then we'll go for that other scale. Let 
give it a gas. You beauty. Spark plug had the key, and this thing would run perfectly. All he needed to do now was to find all that. Oh, what? Well, I've got the spark plug. I now need gas and a key. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to call it there for today. I think this is uh, it's quite interesting, actually, this game. There's, like, mystery going on. Got a bit of survival in here. We seem to be having flashbacks as well, like, really odd flashbacks. Uh, yeah, yeah, I quite enjoy it. Might, uh, might come back to this, you know? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, as always, I hope you enjoy it. Leave me a little like if you do. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And uh, I will see you all next time.